Well, and actually, can you share like a success story of somebody who you've seen a complete transformation on? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I have two uh, that really stand out. Uh, the, the reason I, I like to separate these two, one is a child and the other uh, is, is an adult because I, I do, uh, you know, I do receive a lot of uh, children uh, when it comes to old souls, by the time they reach the age, it's usually uh, 11, they tend to uh, face really challenging issues such as depression, uh, maybe even suicidal feelings, and not just not wanting to be on this planet. So uh, when I receive uh, a parent, it's always a parent, the children aren't coming to me, uh, I'm usually the last resort. They've tried therapy, they've tried counseling, medication, uh, you know, you name it, and they don't know what else to do. So, you know, they, then they find me, which really I prefer only because I know that uh, they, ha they have tried and it's not just a, oh, let's just see what happens. I, I do believe in therapy. I do believe that uh, there are people out there uh, that do that for a reason and uh, are certified to do so. I am I am not certified in any sort of therapy uh, in that nature, but, uh, but I can hear the inner thoughts of children and I can also help them understand themselves better and their souls. So one girl in particular, uh, was really struggling. Uh, she was about 14 when I first spoke with her and we just, uh, you know, with her mom's blessing, her and I had a, a heart to heart and we had a beautiful conversation, but in this conversation, I know I was able to offer her many aha moments and help her make sense of things. And now she actually just turned 17 and I hear how well she's doing, how happy she is. And I received a beautiful note from her mom, just thanking me uh, for really helping her uh, see who she was and that uh, life could be different. So that, that to me was such a blessing uh, for so many reasons, but it really, um, it, it filled my heart. And then um, an, an adult client that I have, uh, this client is one where uh, any recommendation I would give, she would do to a T. Uh, you know, I always give recommendations of things to do, but I always say it's your healing journey. It is for you to figure out what you want to do, what resonates with you. But after each spiritual counseling session, everyone gets a write-up and, well, here's what I recommend you work on. Here is what your energy is telling me and how you could help shift things for yourself and also look at what their goals are too. So it's really shifting things in relation to directing them toward their goals. So this client, like I said, everything to a T and her life was just changing in so many ways. Uh, she would just tell me how she would have these wonderful interactions with people. She would tell me how things are going at work. She would tell me just overall how she was feeling about herself and just these little things, because really that's what healing is. There are these little steps, these baby steps toward uh, these better, the better versions of ourselves as we shed these the old belief systems. And she just, as she puts it in her words, is she never saw that her life would be this way and never realized it could be this good. And when I receive emails like that of how life-changing things are, uh, it's just really about stepping into this new version of yourself, but the version of yourself that you want to be, which really relates to just the emotions you want to feel on a regular basis. Oh, yes. Oh, those are those are the best uh, clients, the ones that actually do take on the recommendations, and then put it to practice, and then just see success. <laughs> little things, too, just little shifts and not like massive things like you got to do this, you got to change this. No, just try it out. See how it works for you. If it does, then continue it, you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Energy is subtle. And I never recommend any change that's going to be too dramatic, because uh, you know, it kind of goes along the lines of people who decide, oh, I'm going to go on a diet and I'm going to lose all of this weight. If they make a drastic change, it is not likely to stick only because it doesn't match where their energy is at. You have, In order to really get to where you want to be, you have to make those minor energetic changes over time. The massive ones put the shock to the system and your energy actually deflects it. And that is why so many people tend to fail in these 
long-term goals unless they do these baby steps because the energy has to match it. Absolutely. Like intuitive eating, you know, it listen to your body. What is it craving? Because sometimes diets mm -hmm. <laughs> itself, it's like, I have to eat this way. I have to cut out this. I have to, it doesn't have to be that way. Just maybe a little less, you know, maybe if you're, if you're not hungry at night, like, oh, heck, I'll give you an example. Like I'm, I'm not really hungry in the morning time. I'm not going to eat. <laughs> if I'm not hungry. I'm not going to eat. I'll drink some tea or something, but I'll listen to my body is saying, Hey, no, Gina, I want you to eat at 11 o'clock instead, or <laughs> somewhere around that time. And that's when I'll typically have my meal and I'm satisfied. So, you know, we are all programmed to say, okay, this is what you're supposed to have for breakfast. This is the time you're supposed to have for lunch. This is the time you're supposed to eat dinner. We're not supposed to be on a program set. We're supposed to actually just listen to our spirit. <laughs> what does our spirit want? <laughs> yeah. Little exactly. shifts like that, exactly. little shifts.